Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to insert and format pictures in Google Docs. Be sure that you already logged in to your active Gmail account. Then after that, in your browser, you type drive.google.com. And at the left side of the screen, click New. Choose Google Docs. Then write the title here. Example, practice, practice activity 4.2. Press enter. There are ways how to insert pictures in Google Docs. First, you can click insert menu, then image. You can choose upload from computer or search the web. If you choose upload from computer, be sure that you already downloaded pictures from Google so that you can insert it right away here. As you can see here, you cannot move the picture from one direction to another. So, you have to wrap text just like what we did in Microsoft Word. So, how to wrap text? Just select a picture and then select wrap text here. Now, you can move the picture from one direction to another. Another way of inserting picture, just click the insert menu again, click image, then search the web. Then you can search picture here, example, Persian cat. Then you choose the picture that you want to insert, example, this one, then insert. Again, to move the picture from one place to another, you select the picture, then choose wrap text here. Now, you can move the picture. Another way to insert picture is to click this insert image icon. Same thing, you can upload the image from computer or you can search from the web. You can also you can also upload pictures from Google Drive, from photos by URL or by camera. To label your picture, just write something about the picture. Example, adorable dog. For the second picture, just click it here to bring the cursor and then write something about this cat, white cat. After putting label, you can now format the pictures. First, just click the picture, then you can select the tools here. You can put border dash, example this one, and then thickness of the border, example 4 point, and the border color. And same with this one, border dashes, so I want this kind of border, and then the 4 point with the border color. Another way to insert picture is click insert menu again, click drawing, then click new. Then you will see here the image icon. You click this one. Then you can choose upload pictures from computer. Choose an image to upload from computer. Again, be sure that you already downloaded pictures from Google. You can also paste an image URL here or you can choose from your album which is the profile picture of your Gmail or you can insert pictures saved from your Google Drive or you can search from the web just like what we did a while ago example dog breed so you choose your pictures here Example this one, then select. 
here in insert drawing no need to wrap text because you can move your picture from one place to another just adjust the size let's insert another picture again select then adjust the size if you want to add some design you can apply what you have learned from the previous lesson like inserting and formatting shapes so make use of this shape icon just click shape and then the rectangle then you draw a rectangle here then put the image inside the rectangle select the image right click cut and then you paste it here Just the rectangle, then this one also. Or you put the rectangle first before inserting pictures. You can also change the fill color. Just just click the fill color tool. Then you choose your favorite color. Example. After that, you can format the picture now using the tools like the dashes you can also put the border color border thickness then put label in your picture just use the text box adjust the text box you can also format your shape here just click the shape then use the tools border dash border color border thickness then if you are done formatting just click save and close so it's up to you if you will format pictures like this one or format pictures through the insert drawing so this insert drawing is better if you will create a collage all right so this is now how to insert and format pictures using the google docs no need to save your work because it is automatically saved to your google drive to share your file to the people whom you want to share just click share then click get link anyone with the link you can put each other viewer other commenter or editor or you can write the email of the person here whom you want to share example then just click done then after you click done that person will going to receive your file or there is other way to share your file just click file then download Microsoft Word document then your file is downloaded here you check the download folder this one then you can upload this file to your genio I'm not going